This week's Amber Alert is on Asatia Bishop. Asatia Bishop disappeared May 25, 2003 from Salt Lake City, Utah. Asatia was at the home of Linda Lodmel, her great-grandmother's, in Salt Lake City, Utah. Asatia's grandmother, Kelly Lodmel, was to visit Asatia that day, but only under the supervision of Linda. Kelly had hid Asatia in a basement prior, so only supervised visits were allowed through the family. This was not court-ordered from what I could find. Around 6 p.m., Linda stepped out of the room for a minute, and when she returned, Asatia and Kelly were gone. She frantically asked her husband if he had seen Asatia, which he did not, so they called police. The Salt Lake County Sheriff's Office issued an Amber Alert. Asatia Bishop disappeared May 25, 2003. She was 19 months old. She was 2 foot 6, weighed 30 pounds, and had blonde hair and blue eyes. Kelly Lodmill, who is mentally ill, and she also has a criminal past and suffered with substance abuse. For these reasons, time was of the essence to find Asatia. The next day, on May 26, 2003, Kelly and Asatia were seen together in Idaho Falls, Idaho, close to the Broadway overpass in Greenbelt, next to the Snake River. Later that day, Kelly, who was soaking wet, ran to the hydroelectric plant near the overpass where Kelly and Asatia were last seen. She told employees there that she had dropped Asatia into the river while they were dangling their feet off of the bridge. The plant was immediately shut down so Asatia would not get sucked into its turbines. Divers searched the murky river for several days, but Asatia was not found there. However, a pair of baby shoes and a doll were found on the riverbank. One of Kelly's shoes was found in the water and the other one on the riverbank. Police believe that Kelly intentionally jumped in the water with Asatia in her arms in a murder-suicide attempt. Kelly admitted this to authorities and was charged with kidnapping and murdering Asatia. However, Kelly also stated that she believed the baby made it out of the water and is still alive somewhere. Asatia's parents, Casey and Adam Bishop, still hope and believe that Kelly gave Asatia to someone. They also say Kelly has never had suicidal thoughts before. They also claim that Kelly sent them a letter from jail that said Asatia was alive and being cared for by others. She never referred to Asatia in the past tense in her letters. They also point out that Kelly purchased diapers and milk for Asatia shortly before the baby allegedly drowned, which would not make sense if she had been planning to murder her. Asatia's parents are offering a reward for their daughter's safe return. They have issued the sketch of a man that they think may be helping hide Asatia. The sketch was not made by a professional sketch artist and is not endorsed by the police. The man in the sketch was allegedly seen checking Kelly and Asatia out of the Red Lion Hotel on May 26. He was described as being in his late 40s or early 50s with rough, weathered, tan skin, graying sun-bleached hair, hazel eyes, large hands with carrot-shaped fingers, and a small build. He was about 5'6 and smoked basic cigarettes. However, the police detectives do not think the man, if he even exists, were involved in Asatia's disappearance and presumed death. Kelly was tried for kidnapping in federal court. In January of 2005, a judge acquitted her, ruling that she was insane at the time of her crime. It is unlikely that Kelly will ever be released from federal custody. Therefore, Idaho prosecutors dropped the murder and kidnapping charges against her. If she is ever released from the hospital, she may face the state charges again. Asatia's Amber Alert remains active as she has not been found. Asatia would be 22 years old today. This is an age progression photo of what Asatia might have looked like at 11 years old. It is the last age progression photo done that I could find. If anyone has any information about Asatia's whereabouts, please call the Salt Lake County Sheriff's Office at 801-743-7000. Make sure you subscribe and or follow us so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Please consider giving this video a like and leaving us a comment. Make sure to check out our pages as we post missing persons daily. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next Monday for a new active Amber Alert. Bye guys.